Early this year, I came out as gay to my husband, uh, soon to be ex, and he had the sweetest and most amazing reaction, and this is what he said. What did you say? I said that I was so proud of you, and that was the bravest thing I've seen that anyone do. And now we are going our own separate ways, and we're about to put this house on the market, and that's all she wrote. You like my ex-husband. Be that good of a person. What did I just watch? My man let her <laughs> record him basically saying that I'm a lesbian, relationships over, house is sold, and then he was like, look, I'm you, so proud of you. I, look, I, I get it, yeah. Some people get into relationships and they discover later on that they're into other things. Cool. Why the fuck are you putting it on TikTok? This, does this man not understand what just happened? Like, that is, to, I don't know, maybe i Maybe I'm, he was over it. That's why he was like, yes, this you, is my lucky escape. But would you let your girl record? Like, if, if that was your guy and he was like, oh, I've been married to Sabi for like three years, but you know, I just, I like sucking tip. So Sabi's like been really supportive. Sabi, what do you say to that? Maybe he just, A, doesn't care, or maybe he's watched her go through a lot of mental struggles that so he's just trying to be supportive. I don't know. Yeah, but why that was the weirdest encounter. Why is it on TikTok? You let the whole world know that my man, <laughs> the jokes, are just, I mean, if his group chat's anything like mine, he's never going to live this stuff. No, maybe he's like, yes, this is going to be my ticket to more girls because they're going to see that I'm loving and caring and it's going to open more doors for me. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But look, I understand. You don't think? No. You just let his... But you're his a man. Okay. Yeah, so women might... You're not going to look at him and be like, oh, yeah, he, that's really sweet. He'd make a great partner. You're just looking at it as, why did he let her embarrass him like that? But girls might be looking at it as, oh, my God, he's so sweet. He'll be the most amazing partner. Okay, well, you're a girl. Tell me how you look at it. I mean, he's not my time. <laughs> <laughs> Forget what he looks like. The action of putting it on TikTok and being accepting. Did that, was uh, that, did that do it for you? It w no, it w no. Well, there you go. You just answered for your kind, so. Yeah, but not every girl's like me. Well, not every guy's like me. I love learning lessons. It's so fun. I'm growing and I'm healing. Yay! <laughs> Did you say I love learning lessons? Yeah, and growing and healing. What the food? Look, honestly, you, people, v please visualize this. She was already worked up. I think maybe she started doing it when the camera turned on. But you have to go like this. So go open the app, open TikTok, go to the record button. Maybe choose the filter you like because I know what you people on TikTok are like. And that didn't look like it had any feel. Maybe not. And then you go, uh, what the f What are you I, doing? Look, I think emotions sometimes can take over. No. No, no, no. Hear me out. Just what, hear your me out. Your emotions like a parasite. Hear me out. Emotions can take over sometimes. You know sometimes when you're angry and you just react out of anger because you're not, you're not thinking logical. Like sometimes when you're sad, you might be really sad and end up sending emotional messages to people because you're just not really in a fit state to think and make... Um, good decisions and maybe her emotions just took over and she had to to express it or maybe that's just the sort of person she is but i promise you and mark my words this will be on the internet forever but you will never ever ever in your life catch me recording myself crying and posting it online better yet you'll never actually catch me recording myself crying i i find it very very weird it is weird. Look, I look, if you send a message to your partner, if you're sending a message to your partner and in that message you get emotional, cool. I, I just want to send I'm you talking. something. I just want to send you something to your it's thing, but very I can't rude. say it on camera. It's very rude to... to <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> it is very rude while That's I'm That's what talking. was going through my head when you said that. No, I, about something very serious <laughs> that we were talking about. And, and whilst we were talking... <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, none of that shit. But whilst we were talking, it, it it got very like emotional between both of us. This is a dude. Why didn't you to. just Why didn't you just FaceTime her? It was FaceTime. That's not recording yourself crying and sending it to someone. Is that what I said? Yeah. Oh. Is that's very different? You're on a you're on a phone call. You're talking to someone. It's like having them in person and you crying in front no, of them. But even it's then. different to you recording yourself. And then sending it to someone like no, but even then, like me. I've I've seen people put on the camera mm. and talk, and in that moment where they're talking about something, they become emotional. So if you put I on the camera that, yes. to send a video to a partner, for example, or an ex or whatever, mm. and then you become emotional and you're sending it to that person, 
cool. It might still be cringy. If you open up the camera and start recording yourself on TikTok, and what she just did, I'm, I'm sorry, let's just give it, it's a 10 second video, we're gonna watch it back. Mm -hmm. I love learning lessons, it's so fun. I'm growing and I'm healing, yay. I'm sorry, you do some shit like that, you're an idiot. You know what it is? More so, I, I mean, I can't understand it, but I could understand someone recording themselves crying, I don't know, maybe to look back and see how far they've come. Oh, but I just nice. can't understand recording yourself crying and actually posting it online for the world to see you in your worst state. I'm sorry, there's some things you should just keep private. I mean, I'm a private person anyway. I don't post my life online, but I just think it's unnecessary to post yourself crying. She said she's growing and learning. Let me give you a piece of advice. Delete your TikTok account. That shit is embarrassing. You understand that after you did that whole... Uh, that she had to go stop. Post, hashtag. Wipe, wipe the tears. Yeah. Hashtag this, yeah, hashtag this. See. Babe, babe, was this good? Is, do you think this will get people? That cuck of her husband's, they're like, yeah, babe, post it. Do you think she recorded it and then just instantly stopped crying and was like, hmm, that'll do? Yeah, she was like... <laughs> Like it's just man, I should be an actress. It's just like, man, come on, man. Like maybe, maybe you're on video call to your husband, your ex, or maybe you're sending him a video and you get upset. Even if it's cringy, it's to the person that it's intended for. Genuinely, though, I think sometimes or more time you see people post videos like this online, it's because they want a specific person to see. Like some people want another person to know how much they're hurting and how much damage they've done. Have you, have you ever heard the song? Um, dry your eyes by the streets. Yeah, dry your eyes. And it, yeah, and in the lyrics, he's like, "I know you want to make her see how much this pain hurts, but you've got to walk away now. It's over." The streets was speaking. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is it. You you don't want someone to 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 see that you're struggling without them. Maybe I don't know. Each well, to their own. No, I understand. Me personally, I understand that some people reach out. <coughs> And I get, people do cringy things all the time. Like, you know those girls that they they wake up in the morning, they sit in their car, and they're like, oh, the sun's hitting me, and they're just recording their face, and then the camera stops. I'm just like, what are you doing? But... Um, it gets the attention you want sometimes. Yeah, but it's, it's lame. It's lame. And only pretty girls can get away with it. When the girl's butt is, you're like, this is a joke. Mm. Only It's pretty privileged. That's... That is a stupid mm -hmm. behavior that girls do online, but only the pretty ones get away with it. Why do the men always message you when you do it? I'm not defending the men that, that message. When I do it, I'm doing it probably because I want particular people to message me. Otherwise, I won't do it. Why don't you just message I'll tell the you person? What, right now. Wait, hold on. Why don't you just message the person? If it was someone that I was like talking to, yeah. If it was someone maybe that I want to talk to, but maybe... Now's not the right time, then I'll do that. Kind of like a look what you're missing type shit. Why not just say, hey, look what you're missing? Or send them a picture. Because sometimes a picture works better and it shows, you know what, I'm not reaching out to you first. Look what you're missing. If you don't want me, that's fine. I'm good without you. Does it ever burn when you post it and no one says anything? Um, there, if I've uploaded a picture on Instagram, because I don't want specific to people to like it and they don't like it, do you know what I do? You remove it. Yep. I will admit it. I'm not ashamed to say. And look be. at me right now. I don't want attention from anyone. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not uploading any pictures. Well, what's my WhatsApp picture? Oh, wait, I don't have one. It's very annoying I don't when give you do a that. Fuck. Why? Why? Because you do give a fuck. Because you add it, you put it on there, and then you take it off. Just leave it off then. Don't put one at all. No, yeah, because sometimes I'm in the mood to put one up. Then why do you take it off? Because I don't want to be seen. don't want you, anyone to look at my fuck. picture or look at my face. Because you give a fuck in that moment. But for right now, I don't give a fuck. I don't want anyone to see me. I'm not bothered. Yeah, I'm saying it's When I've got a nice picture and I want someone to see me again, I'll put it back up. I did it. I came out of the closet. <laughs> I'm so happy. You know? <laughs> I love to be gay. I think a lot of people just like oversharing online. I, th I think that's the same as somebody posting every single meal they eat every single day. Everyone doesn't need to see it, but people do it anyway. Do you know what? The whole meal thing, I don't actually mind because a lot of my friends post the restaurants they're in and I'm like, oh, I want to go to that restaurant. I can actually mm. gain something from that. I don't know. Mm. I, I love, she said I love to be gay. 
Okay, good for you, mate. Like, what for what reason are you putting this online? I guess maybe there's other people out there that want to also love to be gay and they're scared to come out. But it's the way she's... It's, it's just the idea that somebody would be crying and then they open their phone and start talking into it and then go to post it. I don't believe that they, they do the video and then they close their phone, get their cries out and then go back to it. I believe they stop the tears and start posting Straight yeah. away. Yeah, you know, I went into but a I think club. it's even worse if they, if they continue crying, then look at it later when they're not emotional and then still post it. Because they're level-headed. Mm. I went into a club and these girls were not having no fun. They were just there, standing there. The amount of times I've seen that. And they're there. And she, and she must have said something to her friends to call them over. They all stood behind her. And they were like, you know, and they're all like... And then they all dispersed. And that one stood there and posted it and just stood there again. Like well, you know when they do the, the thing with the drinks, when everyone's going in and clinking their drinks? Oh, that shit And then makes they all stop sick. and put the drinks down and then everyone's just like this at the table yeah, doing their own thing. Sick. And it's like, just to put your phones away and enjoy yourself. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't go on my phone when I'm, when I'm out. Yeah, good. I, I don't think you should. I, even me, like, you don't really... You, you won't go to my... Look at my camera roll, right? My camera roll is full of people taking... Either people taking a picture of me for like work. Other than that, it's me saving TikToks for us to react to. I don't yeah. take pictures of myself. That shit's cringe. You go out to eat with your friends. I get you take a like you take a picture. Everyone takes a picture. You get yeah. the group picture, and that's it. Let's eat. But these girls, they'll go there, group picture, group real, whatever the fuck they're called, and they start clanging it together, or they'll do a boomerang where they're, like, they're holding the drink and they're like, I'm just like just. Drink the fucking yeah. drink, eat the fucking food and enjoy the moment with your friends. Do you have to turn your phone on yeah. and let everybody know what you're doing at all times? I mean, we both know people that document every single little thing they're doing and they're not even proper vloggers. They're not getting yeah. paid for anything. It's just, oh, there's a like famous person over here. Click. There's a famous person over here. Oh, I'm on this nice beach. Click. It's just like, bro, like, like relax. Just just enjoy the moment. Not everybody needs to see every waking moment of your life, especially if you're not getting paid for it. When someone's trying to talk to you or you're with someone and you're just on your phone, it's you're, you're showing um, a lack of... Respect. Care and respect for that person because you don't care enough to put your phone down and actually listen to what they're saying. Yeah. The quote was a lot better worded than that, but it was along along those sorts of lines, and I agree with it, like majorly. I just don't get the people that have to document every single waking moment of their intimate Could parts never of be their me. day. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. It's pathetic. This is pathetic. Mm. I'm sorry. I hate to be a hater. Straight people do stuff like this as well. Oh, you can be straight, gay, mm. or anything in between. If you're opening the phone, look, you, imagine seeing somebody that's also noticing you, which doesn't seem to happen a lot these days for anybody because everyone lives online. Mm. Someone's made eye contact. You both smile at each other. Some shit out of a fucking rom-com. And you go, let me document this on TikTok. I, and clearly, in this video, the girl's still there. She's looking over her. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine you're the girl and they're making eye contact with you. Because maybe one of them wants the other to go up, but they're too, both too scared to go up. Yeah, say so, so go on TikTok. This isn't even like a teenager. Mm. She's a grown woman. Mm. The fuck? Mm. If you notice that with every video, she's getting more and more green hair. <laughs> <laughs> is it the same girl with all these videos? Yeah, this is the is same the girl. It's the one who left her husband yeah. to be gay. No. So this is a whole saga. It's like the gamma radiation, like the Hulk. It slowly turns green. <laughs> know what i could understand her posting the the words she's saying because maybe it might help other people but Lame. there's no need f there's no need for the um the uh, i find this very rude what you're doing i'm talking to you and you're just looking at your phone it shows a lack of care for me 
yeah. but there was no need for the uh, <laughs> crying in the uh, car seat. But there's a video I'm going to show you whilst we're looking at videos like this. Oh my god! Imagine setting up your phone, setting it up over there, and then being like, "I could, please get a grip. I get it. You're happy. You're out." Poor husband got cucked on TikTok. I get it, it's a good moment, but for fuck's sake, I have some self-respect. This is called a love surge. And we do this when one of us has like so much love in our limbs that we can't contain it and feel like we're gonna explode. So Sean is having a love surge right now and he's gonna wrap around me and shake with the electricity of love until I catch it too and start shaking and then you explode with a love surge. Ah, uh, I feel so much better. Don't you? Thank you. You're welcome. And that's the love surge. Mm, so much love was just surged. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? The goal was to make me sad. You did it. You won. Um, I know just what you need. Don't be sad, search. Be love, search. I didn't expect like that much hate on the video. Um, a lot of the duets and stitches were really funny and I laughed a lot. I can take a joke and I can laugh at myself. Um, but then some of the comments got really, really mean. And they were like wishing that like someone cheated on each other or wishing that like DV on me or SA or like to, I don't know, live myself and i think like if the goal was to make me sad you did it you won um i'm not talking about the hilarious stitches or anything i'm talking about like the really mean hurtful comments and um yeah so i think a lot of times people type something online and then they don't see the result of it and this is the result and if you like i'm doing this to people then keep doing it and if you don't, then maybe think about it and stop. And again, I'm not talking about like the silly jokes or the duets or stitches where people like add something valuable. I'm talking about like the really mean comments that wish like terrible, terrible things on me. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry, mate. I don't, um, the tears are just not. Um, um, listen, you post dumb shit online. People, like, even if you don't post dumb shit online, we all know what the internet's like. It's a ruthless place. It is. You can't handle comments. Fucking sink your head into the ground and don't go on it. It is, but it's also unnecessary for people to write it's, it's the not, things such as what they were writing, though. It's not about unnecessary. It's fucked up that people would want her to get raped or assaulted or whatever. But the internet has existed for as long as most of us have been alive, right? We all know what it's like. I literally saw a video the other day of a guy... Saying that he had someone said the n-word to him in 2017 and it was like a whole sob story Every single video that followed afterwards was a sharp n-word in all the comments all the comments mm. Now Thanks. the world is a mean place. What the fuck are you crying about? Like we come on here and we say things are controversial and Sometimes we don't even say shit that's controversial and people, people don't like it You feel I'm gonna get my knickers in a twist because a bunch of people said oh Michael We hope you get great to assault it. Give a fuck what people say. I'll go to bed the same way I would if you didn't say it I, I don't get these people. You read in the comments, you're like, oh, I'm so... I, it's just a fucking comment. Unless someone comes to your door and does something, then you've got something to cry about. You know what happens when people write mean comments about me? That's it. It's over. It's over. What the fuck are you crying? You think posting a crying video is going to make it better? They're going to be even more mean now, you dummy. Read the room. In this case, read the internet. How do people not understand how this shit works? I'm not interested in the fucking people that are like, yeah, but they shouldn't be saying it. It's not about should they or shouldn't be they be saying it. They are going to say it, accept reality for what it is. This is how the internet has been, and it's how it's always going to be, right? It's a savage place, and it seems to be getting more and more savage. Just deal with it, right? Don't post these fucking crying videos of people writing mean comments about you. Let people say what they want to say, and if the social media companies want to deal with them, that's up to them. It's their company. Or if you want to turn your comment section off, do that if you can't handle comments. But don't fucking start crying about people posting mean comments like you don't know it's going to come. It's like walking into oncoming traffic and then, then being surprised when your legs are broken. Posting a video about surge love and expect not expecting to get fucking dicked on 
is ridiculous to no, me. No, no, no. I do you know what? I, I was agreeing with everything you said for the most part until you just went on to where you went. Which was? Walking into head on traffic, I mean cars, whatever, yes, you're guaranteed to get hurt. Doing a video about a love surge, yeah, people might take the piss, but there's that's no that you can't think that from a video like that you're gonna get comments such as people saying they want you to get graped or essayed and things like things I like would. that. But it's, it's so I, I wouldn't expect it from a video like that. It's unnecessary. So How long have you been on the internet? If we made a video like that, we would be absolutely torn to shreds. I understand that, but people can take the piss. But walking into oncoming cars, whatever, yeah, it's going to hurt when you get hit. You know you're going to get hit. But doing a video like that, you wouldn't expect... You'd expect people taking a piss, mean comments, but you wouldn't expect anything to that extreme. Okay, well, let me ask you from your perspective, since yeah. we've been doing Midnight Rubbish for a mm -hmm. year and we've seen loads of comment sections now. Mm -hmm. If you posted some silly, let, let's just say, not even a silly video, something you like, like a quote. You like your quotes. Mm -hmm. Let's say you posted a quote, right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, people that watched us on TikTok mm -hmm. caught wind of it, they went viral. And you knew it was going viral, but you hadn't read the comments yet. Mm -hmm. Would you think there's going to be any mean comments in there? Yeah. After, well, there you go. You yeah, you've mean been doing comments, mean comments, but not anything that's like going unlive yourself and stuff like that. That's, that's a mean comment. There's being mean and then there's being like extreme. Yeah, so I somebody could say, you're so dumb. All right, cool. I'm dumb. Someone could say, you're so ugly. All right, cool. I'm ugly. But the minute someone says, I hope you get graped, that's... There's, that's extreme. Yeah, it's, I'm not saying it's not vile. No, I know, but I wouldn't expect that from a video like that is my point. If it was, you know, the guy we reacted to and he was basically saying, yeah, I'll grape a woman. I don't care. She deserves it. You can expect those type of comments in his comment section, but not in, in her comment section. You just think, oh, they're weird. Oh, this is just some weird shit, man. Or, or so you, whatever. So, so, so you wouldn't, if you made a video like that, you wouldn't expect those comments. If I made a video doing a love surge, yeah. I wouldn't expect people to say, go and unlive yourself, no. But we see this all the time on the internet. Clearly, that's the way it is, but I, it's... It's not about it being wrong or right. It's about what, how the internet no, is. No, I wouldn't have expected section. it, no. I wouldn't have expected those sorts of comments. I would no. expect those comments on the... You could be walking down the roads, doing nothing, and then you'll get comments saying, look at this bitch. It's just, that's just how it is. People do yes, it on the I most ridiculous that. things. When people are like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Open your eyes. This is the internet. Me doing this video, could I could wake up in the morning and people are telling me to go and unlive myself. No correlation to anything. That's no, just how the internet is. if you said something that was like really nasty and someone didn't like it, then I'd expect them to say that because maybe you've hurt their feelings. But their videos not hurt anybody's feelings or anything. But it's the idea that people don't expect this on the internet. I understand that you can look at... I've looked at stuff before and been like, seems a bit out of pocket. But did I? is it out of the realms of possibility for me? Absolutely not, because I've been on the internet long enough and I've seen the most tame, like normal pictures and videos and people just ripping people. So I'm not defending people that say those nasty things. I don't Ooh, think that you should... Sorry. I don't think you should say those nasty things to people. I'm not defending it. I'm saying, please open your eyes. Even you, behind the camera watching this, you might leave a comment. The comment might be the most tame comment and you wake up in the morning and someone's telling you to go and, dis and, and unlive your mum. I'm not saying that it's okay to say that. I'm not justifying it. I'm not saying that you deserved it. I'm saying, stop pretending that there's not absolute psychopaths on the internet that post the most stupid shit or just trolls that like to stir up like, provocateurs they just say dumb shit i all these videos where they, they're crying and they're like oh the comments well, drop, drop me out drop me out it's bullshit i'm stealing your line wake up smell the roses okay it stinks around here. and it smell the coffee smells something it smells like shit that's what the comment section is comment section smells like shit and it always yeah, imagine opening the comments i smell shit yeah <laughs> but that's what comment section do you know what Michael, what? it's going to be all right. It is going to be all right. Tell that to that woman that was crying. Should we do a love surge? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> they won't come for me. They'll come for you. Ugh, I couldn't think of anything worse. Well, I could think of a lot of worse things, but, you know, that's up there. <laughs> Top that's 10 rude. worst things. That's rude. <laughs>
Right, well, that's it. That's all I've got to say. Okay. Fucking love surge, man. What were they thinking? You just asked me to do a love surge. Yeah, I was joking. I want to do a love surge. It was rude when I said no. Let's do a hate surge. Hey, fuck you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs>